Hello, my people. How are you all doing? I hope you all are doing okay. I hope you all are feeling great. To God be the glory. Win today, win tomorrow, and win forever. In this particular video, I'm going to be sharing with you all how Pastor Mama Evelyn Joshua appreciated the people of Zambia. She appreciated the Zambians for accepting her, accommodating her and the Emmanuel TV team when they went to Zambia. Stay tuned and continue to watch. May God bless you. May God keep you. May God preserve you. This particular appreciation by Mama Evelyn Joshua proves the kind of woman of God she is. She appreciates. She values the um, people around her. She does not take people for granted, no matter who you are. That's Mama Evelyn Joshua for you. Those who have come close to the woman of God, Pastor Mama Evelyn Joshua, will equally testify the type of person she is. Mama Evelyn Joshua is a woman of wisdom and of a noble character. May God continue to keep this woman of God for us. May God continue to guide her. May God preserve her so that she will continue to do the work of God, the work that God has called her to do. In Jesus' name, amen. We thought we were going to have a meeting in the nation of Zambia. And so we decided to take a, a little place, just a little place, a conference hall for the meeting. That God turned it out to become a crusade. That is God again. It can only be God. Truly, when Emmanuel TV uh, team, they announced for the, um, you know, the meeting in Zambia, it was a meeting. It wasn't a crusade. It was purely a meeting in Zambia with Mama Evening Joshua and her team, the evangelist and the Emmanuel TV, you know, uh, kind of uh, people. But when they went there, everything changed. I know most of you would have watched the video where how everything took place. If you haven't, I'm going to leave, you know, a link uh, at the end of this video for you to go and watch it. I also want to use this opportunity to say thank you. Thank you, people of Zambia, for loving the ministry, the Synagogue Church of All Nations, loving Prophet T.B. Joshua. Thank you very much. This is an eye-opener. I just want to assure you that we do better next time by getting a better place. And I pray that everything you receive yesterday will remain permanent in your lives there in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Truly, Prophet T.B. Joshua was right uh, when he said that the greatest joy is in giving not in receiving. If God has given you any gift, use it well. Let the gift you have to be used in glorifying God. Share your gift with others. Freely you have received, freely give. The Synagogue Church of All Nations does not charge for consultations fee or tales um, anyone to buy their mantle for healing and uh, breakthrough as some Pentecostal churches does. Synagogue Church of All Nations received their gift for free and they are giving it for free. 
you don't charge. So I'm really pleased, you know, with what Mama Evelyn Joshua and the evangelists around her, what they are doing. They are showing what they learned from the man of God and what the Bible says, that freely we received and freely we shall give. God Almighty gifted Prophet T.B. Joshua. He gave him his gift and he was willing to share with others. He was willing to share with others. So he teaches. He nurtures. He instructs. He did not keep this secret from those who are close to him. He never. To all who are close to him, they were never in dark concerning this. And it's a life of dedication. Life of discipline. Devotion. In prayer to God. The harvest today is righteousness. Yes, so my people, the bottom line is for us to be righteous. We need to be righteous. Because if we are righteous and we consult God with our problems, we consult God with the burden that we have in our house, in our heart. My people, there's no way God will not answer also. It is good to be righteous. It is good to keep yourself holy. It is good to make yourself available for God to use you. It is good to be prayerful. What you're seeing today in Synagogue Church of All Nations is the fruit of being prayerful. The evangelists that are praying for you there, they are very prayerful. And they do what the Bible says. Righteousness, that is what is keeping them. That is what is making them to be more productive in the activities that are taking place in Synagogue Church of All Nations and also you know, outside the scorn. As I said earlier on, what happened in Zambia on the 5th of August uh, this year, 2023, <laughs> my people, I just watched it and I said, see you, this thing will just be, be meeting. The meeting can't change. Every, the, the whole environment can't change. It, it can't turn into crusade. Eh? See crowd, my people. In fact, eh, make on run closer to God. Any person where they for where they far from God, it's good to draw yourself closer to God. It's good to be righteous. It's good to be called sons and daughters of God. You have seen the way Mama Evelyn Joshua is hammering all these things. It's for your own good. It's for your own good. Righteousness doesn't cost you much, but your sins will cost you a lot. It doesn't take you much to say, oh, I'm not going to sin again. I'm not going to do those things I used to do before. It doesn't cost you much to say, oh God, I'm going to run away from, you know, stealing. I'm going to run away from prostitution. I'm going to run away from, you know, evil things I've done. I, I, I did in the past. I'm not going to do them anymore. It doesn't cost you much. But your sin will cost. Sometimes it, will, it may even cost your life. It will take you to prison. My people, this high time we run closer to God. Seek here the kingdom of God, my people. All these things, where will they run here, task get, will be given unto us, free of charge. Eh? Let's continue to serve God. Let's continue to serve God in holiness. 
in truth and in spirit. No matter what, no matter the condition of things, serve God. Don't say, oh, because your situation is too bad today. Oh, oh, there's nothing like God. God, they will. God, they. All right, my people, thank you so much. I'm going to leave you all here now. Thank you very much for watching. God bless you all. See you next time. God bless you all. Tara, bye-bye.